Fatima's drawing is a, a creative, uh, emotional, almost uh, artful philosophical piece about the effects of, of war and, and uh, not the immediate effects, but the long-term and emotional effects after uh, something tragic happens to a child. Sen jag har vaknat då är jag jätterätt. Och sen... Jag har så ofta ingenting. It's not strictly hard news in the way that, you know, tragedy or, or you know, geopolitical conflicts are covered, but it's really uh, a, a thoughtful, creative take on, on how to tell the story of the effects of, of war on, uh, on a child. Yeah, and, and really the strength was really just, just the creativity and the, and the way of peering into and demonstrating something that we really can't see all the time. We can't see thoughts. We have never Yeah, the use in uh, Fatima's drawings is that, you know, are we saying too much about what the girl is thinking by animating her drawings? Because her drawings are one thing, but when the second we start moving the little stick figures around the screen, we're, we're creating life and meaning that wasn't necessarily there. You know, as journalists, we always have to discuss ethics. And I think that was one of the concerns with the jury, with all these pieces that we watch, is like, you know, there's a story, but is it told well? And also, is it told appropriately and ethically? I think that's a major concern. Is, is animation in and of itself uh, inherently wrong or unethical? Not, not at all. Nothing is inherently wrong or right, or it's, it's the application of it. And so this can be interpreted in a lot of ways. Thoughts like your defense Fatima's uh, drawings was, was one of the more out there ones in the sense that, you know, they didn't use traditional technique. It was probably the least traditionally journalistic one, and I think it made a lot of us uneasy. But also on the other side, it was so beautiful that we couldn't help but honor it in some way.